weekend's dancers were literally wearing such similar outfits to the exact same ones they would do in a satanic ritual. You can't tell me that whole thing didn't look demonic as hell. Have you ever wondered why the Super Bowl is even called the Super Bowl? Because if you just move over the B, it actually spells Superb Owl, which is the... <laughs> Seriously though, the same exact demonic owl that Madonna was wearing on her head. And one of the main species of animals that symbolizes satanic worship. Y'all remember when they asked Rihanna about her being in the Illuminati. Before and after they sold their soul part 11. Today we have Rihanna and this is her before and this is her after. I am misunderstood a lot uh, at times. Uh, my music, my image, people have their whole... Uh, their whole thing about me, whether it be a, me being a devil worshiper or whatever, besides them reading into my hand over my eye on my album cover. <laughs> Why is your hand over your eye? Because I'm, <laughs> I'm a devil worshiper, what are you talking about? She said it herself. People think everything is all jokes, but what does Cat Williams tell you? Jokes, but he won't tell you a lie. Mm. Just think about it. Isn't it weird that Travis Kelsey, her boyfriend, was drafted in 2013, the year 13? Not to mention country superstar Toby Keith, the guy who founded her, was born on the 8th and died on the 5th. 5 plus 8 is 13. Also, this just happened. Northwest, Kanye West's daughter, her song just charted on Spotify Global Charts, and her song just charted at 58. Hey, y'all. I need y'all to subscribe and smash that like button. 5 plus 8 is 13. And Northwest, think about what team is Northwest. Isn't that the 49ers? And I told you guys in my last videos that this represents a new financial system coming. Now, they are saying that Taylor Swift is a super powerful witch. And she performs witchcraft and all types of, you know, demonic stuff. Let's just get into it. Let me know what y'all think. In her most recent concert, Taylor Swift is performing witchcraft. And I know this is going to raise some controversy in the comments, but this just doesn't look right to me. Swift using witchcraft to give her fans amnesia after her shows? Well, we all know Taylor Swift has a lot of fans, and a lot of crazy fans. They even refer to themselves as Swifties. And apparently these Swifties have been coming out left and right claiming they're getting amnesia from going to her shows. Now this seems kind of kooky, but apparently these experts are saying this is a real thing. A neurologic phenomenon that can happen in any heightened emotional state. It, it, it's fascinating that it takes a Taylor Swift Hey y'all, I need y'all to subscribe and smash that like button. Sort of multiple concerts for this to become topical because this is something that that you know happens. It's it's all it's a normal process actually. I don't know guys, I'm not sold on this one. I do not think this is normal. I've been to hundreds of concerts, never happened to me or anyone I've ever met before. And why does this only happen at Taylor Swift shows? Why wouldn't this happen at let's say Coachella or Stagecoach? or Vans Warped Tour, or heck, even Burning Man. What, are these fans not having as much fun as the Swifties are? Or is there something else to it? And then you go on the internet, and you realize there's a lot of rumors about her promoting witchcraft and casting spells, and using subliminal messaging, and possibly hypnosis in her songs and music. And some people are claiming that that's the reason why these kids are suffering from amnesia. The fact that they made a whole news story on people having amnesia while going to a Taylor Swift concert. Y'all, I'm a little, let's, let's just go a little deeper. Y'all remember that TV show, Inside Job? I remember they had Taylor Swift on the episode. Let me show you. You want to talk about connections? These prep tiles literally have blue blood. This is incredible. I can't believe who's secretly a Riptoid. Anderson Cooper? Taylor Swift? So the song Shake It Off was about how I shed my skin every thousand years. And the song Bad Blood was about how I drink blood out of my Grammys. A ghost to blood! Hey y'all, I need y'all to subscribe and smash that like button in our face and make fun of it and make it seem like it's just a joke now watch this this is not taylor swift but taylor might be one of her clones this is xena lavey she's a musician and the former high priestess of the church of satan her father was the founder a lot of people argue that this theory is just because they look like each other but let's take a closer look 
First of all, there are many satanic and Illuminati references in Taylor's music videos. I can make another video explaining that. Xena was High Priestess from 1985 to 1990. Taylor was born in 1989. We only hear about powerful people being cloned. So Taylor being born in 1989 could make sense. They're both musicians. What if Taylor got her love for music because it was in her DNA? I can't find the tweet anywhere, but Taylor acknowledged the theory back in 2014. It was a joke about her being like the queen of the clones. But if she is a clone, she might not even know. Let me know your thoughts. And this is just a cool theory I found online. I'm not trying to- A little bit of background. What was that, Taylor? We make music for a purpose. It is music it is that by, by even the act of listening to it, you are participating in a satanic ritual. Okay, Swifties, we all know by now that Xena LaVey, you know, the Satanists, but you heard what they were talking about. They said by even listening to the music, you partake in a Satanic ritual. You ever heard of a rap sigil? Listen. It's a thing where they, one, murder somebody, two, record them, three, chop- Hey, y'all, I need y'all to subscribe and smash that like button. The audio up and sample it and return to the scene and rap where they murder somebody at. They put it on a mixtape and that creates a sigil. They sell the mixtape, people listen to it, and boom, the sigil is charged, and they make a lot of profit from it. Is this what Lucifer, I mean, Lil Uzi Vert was talking about at his concert? Obviously, all y'all is going to hell, right with me. So, you heard the song a million times, and you didn't even know. That's up, but I still love It's crazy, because now the lyrics are starting to make sense. I don't really care if you cry. I just know you should have never lied. She said she's not afraid to die. Just a stretch. Now, one of the most well-known examples of this is from this song, Bad Things by Colts. In the background of this song is actually the infamous last speech of Jim Jones. You know, the cult leader who poisoned his entire cult. At certain points of the song, you can actually hear screams from the children in the cult. Scroll if you don't want to hear it. Now, J. Cole went on to sample this song and use it. She knows. Now, he claims that he had no knowledge of this, but it's too late now. Who knows the amount of songs that we've listened to not knowing the true meaning? Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really get into sports, but this stuff is looking real rigged. I just found this one. Look at this. The demonic reason why soccer stadiums look like eyes from above. Wake up. Hey, y'all. I need y'all to subscribe and smash that like button.